No game data present. Yeah, that's fine. Create new game. Oh god, the sound effects is like gun shooting and stuff like that. That's <laughs> all right. Edgy Sonic starting early. I like it. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Why? Why? Why are there gunshot sounds in my thingy? In my my Sonic game, I couldn't remember what that we were playing because there's gunshot sounds in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> God, who thought this is a good idea, man? <laughs> God, this is ridiculous. Looks like a Spider-Man villain, dude. The the guy on the car jumping around. Not that one. That's <laughs> the one that was there earlier. The, wait a second. Shadow faster than Sonic? <laughs> I've never seen Sonic just like disappear Dragon Ball Z style, you know? Just in a flash of light, just fade out of existence and appear behind somebody. <laughs> You're talking about a uh, Metal Gear Solid Revengeance, right? I haven't actually played that one yet. I do one to one of these days because that was actually the first like Metal Gear Solid game that I was actually interested in. Character spoken language. Uh, sure. Dolby Pro Logic 2. I don't think it'll really make a difference, but... Listen to in-game music? Wait, does it, like, unlock other tracks as we unlock it or something? Oh, these are different themes. For some reason, I thought we were, like, selecting where to go. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Your nugs are done. Wish you luck. I believe in you, love. They're chicken nuggets, but... They have vegetables mixed in with them. That's why she's like iffy about it. What is this? Your own normal dark? So wait, is this just like a level select? Does that mean there's like multiple different endings? What is this? Huh. That's interesting. I mean, story mode, whatever that is, it's not unlocked right now, so it doesn't really matter also a library i'm assuming that's just like crap that we unlock maybe like artwork or something i don't know think about frozen nugs anyways true she is fire in the sky festival celebration 50 year return something another hmm. look at that compressed ps2 video beautiful it's the only thing i can remember in that gruesome image That gruesome image is just some girl. God, <laughs> look at Maria. her. Who am I? And why can't I remember anything? And who is this Maria? Mm -mm -mm. Red clouds are never a good sign. So wait, was that whole like intro FMV just what's happening in the game? Cause this looks awfully similar to that intro FMV. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like Look how pathetic they are. I don't have time for these humans. As you can see, the day of reckoning will soon be here. Find the seven chaos emeralds and bring them to me as promised. Huh? 
Who are you? How do you know I'm Shadow? And what are you talking about? Classic. Why give us any information? So what was that all about? If he says he knows the truth about who I am, then like it or not, I have to believe him. The only way I'm going to get the secrets to my past is to get those Chaos Emeralds. I don't think that's the way it works, man. I think you can choose not to believe him if you want, and then just do whatever the hell you want, you know? The guy hasn't given you a single reason to trust him. The only thing he did was say a name that may or may not be yours. Like... We actually know nothing about it. You have complete amnesia, it seems, man. For all we know, that dude caused your amnesia. And then is, like, using the amnesia to manipulate you into stealing the Chaos Emeralds and doing his bidding. Oh, okay. Well, we're in it, I guess. Hmm. Time, huh? Anything do anything? I see the frame rate's already amazing. Oh, good job, like, missing all of those. I can't... Okay, all I can do right now, it seems, is move around. Oh, God, these controls are touchy. Look out. The square button lets me attack. The circle button lets me spin dash and perform other actions. The square button lets me attack. Where to attack? The circle button lets me spin, spin dash. dash. And okay. Okay. Oh god, we're already dead, aren't we? <laughs> well, well, that lasted a long time. Oh, uh, we can like switch between characters, I'm guessing. Wait, why do I not have my gun now? Oh, uh, we had to pick it up, like... Okay. So do we have like limited ammo? Uh, I see down the bottom right. Can we like break chests and things? Is there stuff in the chest? Should we be breaking them? Are there multiple different paths to take? No, at least not yet. Why is there a Chaos Emerald just chilling here? Did I die again? Holy shit, I suck at this game, bro. Okay, I see our rings in the bottom left now. Pick up the gun. Why are we like on skates, man? Can you shoot him, please? Press the X button again while jumping to hit enemies using the homing attack. Oh, fancy. That also seems a little deadly, though. That's not a very good homing attack unless it only works on ground enemies. Look out. Monsters. Hey, Shadow. That's one of the chaos enemies. Okay. Unlimited power. Unlimited power. Who are we uh, not killing? Wait, can I pick up like extra ammo if I grab two guns? I can. <laughs> the collision on this is something. Doom's eye. That was a big-ass explosion. Can I get a ring before I die? Oh my god, please. What is, like, blowing up all over the place? Bro, please let me get a ring. Can I just skip all this crap? Do I need to kill people? The right analog stick to get a grass one. Yeah, I get that. We can camera control and stuff. All oh, the aliens get guns too. Can I pick up their gun? Ah, fancy. 
Oh, okay. He just said steer clear of the shockwave something another. I wasn't really paying attention to him, to be honest with you. What are these things? Ah, that's what that's about. It's like an automatic. Can I not pick it up? There we go. Oh, yeah, boy. What did this? Are these teleport pads? Oh, okay. It's like a fast travel system throughout the level. That's weird. Why would we want to go like back into the earlier section though? I'm dead. <laughs> Why are there death pits on the side? I don't appreciate that game. What? There's a falling grate? I couldn't tell. There's too much stuff going on. Why do they still have collision when they die? That's kind of annoying. I mean, you say that's the only way across, but there's also this right here. Oh, there's a key. Do we need keys? Oh. No! Some. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're alive. Okay. I thought we were dead again. Why are we smashing the red fruits? What do they have to do with anything? This game handles very poorly. I have no idea what he just said, by the way. <laughs> Can we still make it? No, we can't. Hold on, but what if we, like, do the spin dash? Nope, still can't make it. Oh, no, okay, well. No, <laughs> bruh. What is going on? Why are we stopping? I'm hitting the boost. Here we go. I'm assuming the parasites are people. We can drive cars. These guys are Hold your position. Uh, okay, nope. I don't want to drive the car anymore. Not here. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. We got this. Or not. Can I reverse? Is reverse a thing? Why does it handle so poorly, man? This thing have like... Oh, I see the health down in the bottom right now. That's a pit! There's a pit! I could not see that at all. Okay, you know, I think the vehicle is a bad idea, honestly. I think we should just leave that. Do not attack our soul. So wait, can, can I actually, like, work on his side? Is that an option for us? Can we be, like, evil shadow? 
if we wanted to? What if we just do like a fully passive run? Is it possible to just play through without killing anybody? Besides, I assume bosses. No, I don't think I will, Mr. Doom Eye. I think I'll collect the eye and do the next thing. Rank C? Yeah, that seems about right. I did die like six times. <laughs> you love me a good loading screen. Non-interactive black screen. It's wonderful. Really hopes ho Really helps hold your attention in between levels. Black aliens have hit six major cities around the world, and every city is reporting significant damage and casualties. Among them, Westopolis has received the heaviest casualties due to its weakened defense system. Downtown Westopolis has been almost completely destroyed. Unconfirmed sources have also reported seeing a black hedgehog in Westopolis. Shadow? Deploy the troops now, and if you find Shadow with the Black Aliens, then kill them all. But sir, isn't Shadow on our side? I gave you an order, soldier. He's evil and he's the enemy. Mm. You can't fool me, Shadow. This time, you're mine. I feel like there's a little bit of a history there between Shadow and him, you know? Doesn't like him for some reason. I'm uh, not afraid to admit I don't know the full lore of Shadow the Hedgehog or Sonic in general. So that's a Sonic game and Eggman is a villain, but Westopolis? I don't know, man. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even know who Shadow is other than he's a dark version of Sonic and apparently he likes guns. The military guy hates him, even though he's supposedly a good guy. I guess he also seems to have a thing for humans like Sonic does. Me, Shadow. No one tells me what to do. I have my own reasons for collecting the Chaos Emeralds. You really don't understand the situation here, do you? No, I really don't. Perhaps Professor Gerald has done more to your memory than I imagined. The Professor? Strange that you don't remember your maker. Mm, okay. Silence! The ramifications of your disobedience will be severe. We were created in some kind of lab, I guess? I don't know, man. Lithic Canyon? Sounds fancy. I'm wondering if Eggman's even, like, in this one, you know? He doesn't seem to be the bad guy unless he's somehow controlling or or calling the, the black aliens, I guess they're called. Uh, wh where am I? I underestimated his powers. Hmm. There's definitely something going on out there. You wouldn't say. It's up to me to find out what they're up to. What was your first hint that there's something going on out there? I mean, I doubt it'll last, but so far we haven't really encountered any glitches i wouldn't say it's just very uh poor or controls very poorly yeah and it does seem to tr oh 
were we like being locked onto? It does seem to track how many aliens we kill, how many humans we kill, etc. Is it possible for us to like? Ah, oh, there we go. Just don't know what the keys do. I'm assuming we can choose to be like a good guy, a bad guy, whatever. Oh, well, I lost all my coins. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm asleep right now. Wait, did we just respawn back at the beginning? I just noticed that that dude didn't shoot us. So that's good, right? Oh, uh, wait. We have a sword? Why does the sword have limited uses? I get the guns, like, with their ammo or whatever, but the sword? Mm, do I, though? Do I have to do anything you tell me to? There's probably some sort of bonus for killing everything of one or the other. I'm still curious what happens if we just kill literally everything. Oh my god. Oh my god, the controls are so bad! Oh, blackout? That's new. Wait, do we have like a life system? Did I did I lose all the lives in the first level? <laughs> Gotta start over now? That makes sense. It's like the game's way of hiding the fact that it's loading or something. What did I get hit by? Was it the falling stuff? But like those super long falls just seem a bit unnecessary. I can't help but wonder if that's what it's secretly HG doing. That worm creature is trying to escape by burrowing underground. That's fine. Let it escape. I don't really care. To be honest with you. Looks like those little things are aliens too. Guess that means they're fair game. Um. Okay, so this must not take us back to the beginning then. If both paths bring us here. Yeah, no, okay, this is new, right? Yeah, this room just looked like that last one. It's not. I don't want to touch the jewel or release its power. I don't gotta do shit, my guy. Do I have a gun? Oh, I do. Cool. Oh. No, okay. We're safe. Somehow. Oh, no. Not this again. I forgot about this part. I don't think, like, platforming should be a thing. Oh, God. This is not... <laughs> you. It's fine. Everything's fine. So, okay. I guess we're just going in again. Why is it showing me the, like, 
to follow the ring. I pressed circle. I thought circle like followed the ring path. Does it not? Yeah, it does. We just like got stuck for some reason. Well, whatever. Oh, that's what the keys are for. Wonder what it actually does though. Really don't like the whole idea of like precise precision platforming in this game. Everything just kind of feels like it's on ice. It's not great. What was that? <laughs> I, I pressed circle thinking, oh yeah, I'll follow the, the coin path again. And then just freaking dead. Okay. That's cool. We're all the way back here. Or wait, no, this isn't. This isn't the first time we met the crystals, right? When he told us to touch them. Oh my God. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to touch the crystal. I'm trying to just leave. But it is surprisingly hard to do anything <laughs> precise. No. No. I'm getting the feeling jumping is just a bad idea. Please, 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 okay. God, we're so weak with our punches and kicks though. The like dive bomb thing is the only move we can really do. It's effective at all. It's like your third time being sucked in. That's not even counting all of the uh, times I screwed up. I was waiting to black out again, I'm not gonna lie. Fine. Everything is great. Oh my god, please, coin. Thank you. No, 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 no. Oh, I feel like there should be a checkpoint on the other side of this. Yeah, I know I've only got half of them. I don't really care to get the others, to be honest. What's this? Oh, another, like, checkpoint. Can I just leave the level? Is that the coin? Are we good? Or the coin? The, the... What's it called? Chaos Emerald. Yeah, there we go. What did we get this time? A D? I feel like that was even worse, man. A B? What? <laughs> How is that better than the last time? Than the first level? That felt so much worse. I feel like beating the game is probably super quick. If you just skip everything. But then, like, completing the individual objectives would probably take a while. Like playing through as a good guy, playing through as a bad guy, etc. The black aliens from Westopolis. We've also managed to suppress enemy forces in five other cities. There's also reports that the CIA's mainframe has been compromised. We're investigating the incidents now. It is a strong possibility that this was also committed by the black aliens. Tell the commanding generals that the United Federation will never surrender to terrorists. 
yet take the presidency. This planet was once safe from tyranny and annihilation by you two heroes. Now mankind must protect this peace at all costs. We must stand united to defend our world against these invaders. I kind of wish I knew the lore of Shadow the Hedgehog. I have no idea. Was there? Was he in a previous game? They keep calling back to whenever like we work together or we were a good guy or whatever, but I have no idea what the hell's going on, man. Destroyer to protect, Shadow the Hedgehog carries a dark past that is shrouded in mystery. Embark on a journey to unveil its true identity. The way you play the game will determine the outcome of Shadow's future. Yeah, okay. So we do have a choice in how we do things. Oh, there's Eggman. He must be in the game somewhere. Branching storylines and multiple endings. Fancy. Hmm. I wonder if there are any Chaos Emeralds around here. Hope. What? Suddenly we're cloud. That's right. I somehow escaped, but was then captured by those humans. But from where and why? I know that water looks a wee bit toxic. It feels like I've been here before. This place seems to be if I don't attack the humans, will they attack me? Destroy. Hey, Shadow. I gotta ask God. You. Oh, yep, okay, they do attack me eventually. <laughs> what does that thing do? Oh, that's fancy, I guess. Why can't I not break the other? Okay, green chests are just... Oh, we can pick them up? Why, though? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Blackout. I'm assuming there's a life, a, a, a life, live system, and I'm just not seeing it anywhere. Then like the pause menu. Yeah, there we go. We got five apparently. Okay. Well, apparently the D-pad does something, but oh, we can zoom in and out. I'd probably rather play zoomed out if I have the option. Now it zooms itself back in, so not really. Oh. I never would have guessed the yellow water was bad. I thought our. Not here. They really need some walls, man. Them guardrails should be just a little bit higher. That small floating machine. Can I get out of the toxic water? No? Okay, well... Guess we're just dead again. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. Grab the thingy. Okay, it's fine. Thank god, dude. <laughs> Something tells me we didn't do that part right. Can I grab a coin? Any coin? Just one coin, please? Oh, okay. Right. 
of you? Circle. Ah, it's just like a hoverboard. Okay. How fancy. Grind along the pipe. Well, that worked out well, huh? Okay, I'm guessing we don't have enough speed to make it work. We could have jumped up there, man. I would love to, but I have to very slowly go across this pipe first, you know? Because this is a Sonic game, and that's what you do in Sonic games. <laughs> On the plus side, it doesn't seem like we lose all of our coins when we, we get hit. We just lose a, a chunk of, I don't know, I'm assuming like eight. Oh, that was fancy. <laughs> the world's slowest grind. Can we speed that up just a little bit? So how do you like... Oh, shit. If you wanted to go through as a... Like on an evil playthrough and not kill all the aliens, how would you get around that section? Are there coins in you by any chance? I could really use a coin or two. Okay. Um. Oh. I didn't really slide under it, but... <laughs> and then I killed myself. Good job, GG me. Grab the coins, damn it. Or grab the gun. Why not? Wow. Oh, these little dudes, little worm dudes, that extra suck. Oh my god, dude, everything sucks actually, I take it back. Oh shit, okay. Wait, can we do that here? No. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Good job, just gave him a little touch, why not? How do I- ow, that was rude. I don't remember agreeing to fight Metal Gear here. Bro, please, any coins? Nice. Let's go. Thank God for coins. I thought for sure we were dead again. No, oh, I'm sorry, human drone. I didn't mean to murder you. Damn it. Believe it or not, I'm actually on your side. I'm just kind of an idiot. And this game controls like absolute dog shit. Holy crap, okay.
I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. Grinding should be like an exciting moment for the game, not whatever that is. How long can I ride the disc for? Just ever? No, I guess this is it. Ah, I see. We can like dash between walls, not just like climb one or whatever. I love when they reuse parts of the level. It looks like we're at the beginning again, but I'm pretty sure we're not. No, I don't know what to do. What do I do, little dude? What makes you say that? Is it all of the garbage that we're constantly running into? Is that what makes you think it's dangerous? I'm sure it's fine. Is this... Are we meant to be going backwards here? What are we meant to be doing here? Can I climb it? Ah, behold the ultimate power. Chaos. Oh, okay. Well, cool. We're chaos now, but. Oh, so we just can't go any farther this way. <laughs> Bless me, sorry. Okay, well, I guess we gotta go back at least one set. I didn't realize there were, like, just random dead ends. Ow. Why are you guys shooting me? I'm on your side! Oh, that was the end of the level. We, like, overshot the end of the level. I see. Bless you. Thank you, love. I appreciate that. Bless you, you know? I found it. The Thank you for the five bits, too. Appreciate that as well. Rang D. I mean, honestly, I feel like we did better this time than last time, but I think it's mainly using the time to beat the level as for the for the ranking. It did take us like a minute and a half longer to beat that one. Oh, here's Eggman. Hello, sir. Idiots. They're destroying everything. How can I take over the city and build the Eggman Empire if there is no city? That mean Eggman's on our side now? My limit. I have no choice. Send in the Eggman fleet. Charge! Or is that just a third set of enemies that we have to deal with now? Here's my real question. If we get to the end and beat the boss, even though we didn't do, like, any of the other <laughs> paths... Do we still get to mark the game as finished, as beaten? <laughs> I think so, right? Nobody said we had 100% it. If you get the end credits, you get the end credits. I'm just saying. Imagine a Far Cry game by that standard. I don't know, man. It seems legit to me. Is it the, uh, is it Far Cry 5? Where the dude just tells you to wait, and if you just stay there and wait long enough, he comes back and is like, all right, we'll take you off the island now or whatever. And then, like, that's GG. You won the game. <laughs> like... <laughs> 
<laughs> beat the game in like 10 minutes, you know, just by waiting. Do what you're told, win the game. I like it. If we ever play that game on stream, that's how we're going to do it, man. <laughs> we're just going <laughs> to... I don't know. It seems legit to me. That's all I'm saying. Staring at it from afar. Have I seen it that is five. Okay. I thought so, but I couldn't remember for sure. Actually, I've never finished a Far Cry game. The only Far Cry game I've ever actually played was one that I can remember at least. So what are in the Eggman boxes? Are they like... Oh. Not rocket launchers. Of course. Of course it is. What else would it be, I guess. So this is like... Why can I not switch... Which gun? What are you? You shoot rings. No. I don't want to, game. Can I actually shoot the power sources? I've detected a high energy magnetic field. Those jewels must be their power source. You know what? No. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore as many of the objectives as possible. That's what I wanna do. Somehow they're keeping this door shut. Is it the thing? It's probably the thing. Oh wait no, the door's open now. Let's go! I do want to play them at some point. One was okay from what I played of it, but I mean, like, is quite old. This is not what I wanted to do. There we go. So I feel like if I played it again, you know, now in more modern time, I'd probably, or if I, I'm sorry, if I played a more modern Far Cry game, I feel like I'd probably enjoy it a fair bit more. This is the best platforming the game's had yet, and it's because we're in some sort of robot. We need to, to run now? No, you know what? Honestly, moving slower makes things a lot easier. This is fun. Stories are not connected except 5 slash New Horizon. Yeah, no, I, I don't really think I need a plan in order. I think I'm going to skip Far Cry 1. I played a bit of it, like I said. Just wasn't a huge fan of it. I probably am still going to like try them in order, assuming I own them all at least. But other than that, I'm not really like worried about it if i if, say i own three and don't own two or whatever i'll still just go ahead and play three at some point because yeah uh they're fine the robots I don't have to do anything, Mr. Mr. Man. I help no one. I just get to end of level. <laughs> Why do we do this? Why is jumping so deadly? Momentum too. This is just like there is no momentum. The game just randomly decides when you get a big boost of speed and when you get no speed. I'm not trying to hit the robots. Why are the people that are more or less on our side? Well, I guess because of how it's like not multiple choice, but you know, multiple paths. I guess that's why everybody does damage to us, not just who we would consider enemies or I would consider an enemy. I, I want the robot suit back, please. Something that doesn't feel like we're walking around on ice. I do want to give the new Sonic game a try. I've heard decent things about it. The new, like, open world Sonic game.
That's the only one I'm even vaguely interested in, honestly. I played Mania. Mania wasn't bad, but... It's because Mania is just like a love letter to Sonic 1, 2, and 3. It's not this. <laughs> <laughs> what apparently Sega thought people wanted in a 3D Sonic game. Oh, cool. We can crush them. It's fun, I guess. Moosh. Oh, nope. That didn't work. Wait, is there a checkpoint? Yeah, I definitely want to hit that. Uh, just go down. Oh, wait, he... I didn't realize he's going to tell us to go down. I should have went up. Is this not the way we went before? No, I guess not. Ooh. Um... Can I just skip this? Like we're getting somewhere. You know. I would love to if I could get up. Can I grab a ring, please? Oh, never mind. I have a bunch of rings. I'm okay. Wait, is that a club? Oh, it's just like a bamboo shoot. I'll take it. That's that's my kind of weapon. There we go. <laughs> it's actually pretty decent to clear out those uh, annoying little dudes. Guys that come out of the ground. The weather gets a bit turbulent on the inside of the cloud. I can't see anything. I think you can fly on that bird like section to get past here. Shadow, try roughing it up a bit and then press the circle button. Up it up a bit and then press circle, okay. Did I rough it up too much? No, okay. He came back to life. Do I control it or does it control itself? Press the left analog stick up to make this thing die. And then pull back okay. to make it fly up. Holding down the X button will let you accelerate. Okay, we're just we're just dodging this crap, right? Yeah. Check the lower right hand corner of the screen to see the creature's remaining health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Hold zero. Hello and welcome, man. Ow. Well, at this point, I feel like it's safe to get off, right? Like, if we did get damaged or whatever, it looks like we can run along the bottom now, at least. I'd rather not game. What I want to do is grab that ring and go to the next level <laughs> before I die. Send myself off this cliff or whatever. Or not cliff, but platform? Floating platform, yeah. Before I send myself off this plo- fo Words are hard. Floating platform again. You're not getting away from me this time. The Treasure Planet PS2 game? No, not yet at least. I do not have that in my collection yet, but sooner or later. Be honest, I didn't even realize there was a Treasure Planet game for the PS2, but I guess that makes sense. It's more or less in that that time period, right? You know, funnily, funnily enough, I've never even seen the Treasure Planet movie, which I find very odd, but, <laughs> but I never have. A lot of my friends absolutely love it, but I've never seen it. I'm assuming we get to, like, the different paths by doing all of the random crap that they tell us to do. Be it killing a bunch of dudes, like, a bunch of humans or a bunch of aliens or touching all of those crystals or something like that. So far, we've just gone, like, straight down the middle path, but we've also basically ignored every objective they've given us. 
and just went to the end, so yeah. GBA PS1 and PS2 game, each made by different studios at the same time around when the movie came out. That what? sounds <laughs> That sounds about right, honestly. But it also worries me. Because it sounds like a, a cash grab kind of deal that they had going on, you know? Which is what worries me about it. Plus, I mean, let's be honest, a lot of old movie tie-in games weren't that great. There were some decent ones, but a lot of them just... Uh, Maybe. Honestly, what's it matter if you are an android, man? You're just you, regardless. Being an android doesn't really change who you are. Oh. Lily, hello! Lily attack just redeemed hydrate. I honestly don't know if I'm the original or not. Hello. Change mission? I've never actually been in the destroy. I need to hurry to the end off those I need to destroy Eggman's I need to hurry to the I need to hurry to the doctor's base. Yeah, that's my that's my mission is just to get to the end. <laughs> that's the that's the one I want game. Damn it. Oh PS2 one Oh god. Sorry, I had to kill your robots. This game isn't terrible, but it isn't great. We'll mention two things about one. It's a Jack and Daxter clone, too. You're working on modding tools for it? Because I'm a silly, silly man. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome, though, that you're making modding tools for it. I love to see more modding coming to uh, old consoles. As well as all of the decompilation projects that have been going on for different games. Also amazing. And as far as like games to clone go, Jack and Daxter's definitely up there on the list of like good ones to do, so. Robots must be blocking it, so how? Okay, so kill robots to get out. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Jack and Daxter. At least, oh, shoot, there's a. bunch of androids here or I mean maybe androids we could be the android anyways big fan of the first Jack and Daxter game not as big of a fan of the other ones but can I only shoot them is that the problem there we go it's not as polished or as nice to control as Jack well I mean I didn't figure but <laughs> but still though if they're following the same basic formula then I I was gonna say it can't be that bad, but I suppose it can be. Actually made before Jack 2? That's fine by me. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a big fan. I know a lot of people really like Jack 2 and Jack 3. Not as big of a fan of them. Like, they're okay games. Don't get me wrong. I don't think they're, like, garbage or anything like that. But I much prefer Jack 1 to... I need to kill one of you because I need to kill myself, apparently. No, uh, I just wanted your gun, actually, but that's fine. What is this? A uh, big stick of some sort. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh god, I didn't realize I had no coins. I am so happy we're still alive. Uh, I probably need to pick up one of these guns. No! <laughs> oh, you dick! I didn't think the platform would raise until I had them all dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me up! There. Camera, turn, please. Damn it. 
Oh, I didn't realize the blimp was harmful. Damn. Why is there not a guardrail on the back of that? That's very true, actually. <laughs> yeah. Disney was just ready to go with that idea, I guess, man. Grab a coin, dumbass. Not Damn, off the platform. Oh, good. Blackout. We get to start over again. Yeah, we'll continue. It's just really weird to me that the game, it feels like they incentivize using the, the jump boost attack, whatever the hell you want to call it. But then the, the homing attack, there you go, that's what they call it. But then it's so bad at actually like homing onto things <laughs> that it just sends you off the, the edge of the platforms constantly. I understand why this game isn't exactly highly rated. No, I, I'm I'm hitting X to home on to the next dude. It just said nope. Fur Fighters before that, which is like the basis for the game's engine. Why does Fur Fighters sound familiar? I don't think I've ever played it, but I might have seen something about Fur Fighters at least. By the oh, that's actually useful. Thank you for that, dude. Detecting I was wondering how we would grind faster. This dude actually gonna like help us out this time instead of just disappearing? Nope. Oh, God. I thought for sure we were going off the edge again. Okay, so is it clones now? Or androids, whatever you want to call it. Enemy mech units repel. <laughs> I wish I could straighten out the camera, but the <laughs> game says no. What about the other direction? Nope. <laughs> Game just does not want to let us. Okay. Um, does the platform want to come down, maybe? There we go. I'm guessing it thought we were on it still for some reason. That's why it wasn't coming down, but... Clearly we weren't. I missed every single one of them coins. All right, don't touch that thing. That thing apparently hurts. Also, just blow things up instead of jumping around. Oh my god. There we go. Get the hell out of this area. Thank goodness for the checkpoint. Shadow, get on board. Gladly. This mech suit thing is still the best part about the game, sadly. It's got booster pads? That's pretty cool. Oh, God. Oh, we're alive. Just barely, but... I think the game has a lot of modding potential. Just need to figure out... Ooh, hold on. Where the platforms go. Okay. <laughs> Just need to figure out more about 3D model and level files to unlock the full potential with your modding tools. So is that the goal? Like, for you to be able to make your own... Levels change out models, etc. Or kind of like uh, what's it called? Lunar magic for for Mario. At least what Lunar Magic used to be. I, I haven't messed around with Lunar Magic and since I was a 
like 16, 17 years old. So I'm like 15 years now since I've really messed around with Lunar Magic. It could be completely different now. I have no idea. And you're all a bunch of dicks. Yeah, I'm guessing the door won't open until I kill some dudes. Wait, <laughs> are we just zooming to the end of the level because we use the... Okay, yeah, we just like straight up skip that part. Bruh, if we like timed it right, we could probably jump all the way to the top and grab that, that switch. It's literally point blank. How are you not shooting them? Oh my god. Give me another one. Please give me? <laughs> oh no, game. I really wish this had, like, lock on. Sims? I wish we were playing Sims right now. Can I just not hit them at all? Does it oh no! Oh, thank god we're alive. No, I guess we can't punch them at all. Is there another gun back here? There's a key. I don't know what the key really does for me. Hey, robot friend, go kill this dude. Damn it. But like, yeah, because I don't have a gun. Okay, well, something did damage to him. I don't know if it was me or if it was a robot, bro, but there we go. He's dead. Pretty much, yeah, you get more done with the levels. If you get more done with the levels, you have full control over levels, including making custom in-game cup scenes and boss fights. Oh, okay, okay. So all of the, uh, I didn't notice the bar here. So all of the cutscenes are done, like, in engine and level. So if you have a full level editor, then you could change the cutscenes. I'm assuming that's what you mean. I like being able to add custom in-game cutscenes and whatnot. Yeah, that's sick. Okay. The only reason I was wondering is because, like, you mentioned it doesn't control as well. So it would have been nice, I guess, if you could also mess with the, the physics or whatever it is about the game that's a little messed up as far as the, now, the controls Doctor, go. Tell me everything. Don't get me wrong, though. A level editor would still be really cool. Whenever I eventually pick up the game, if your tools are ready, I'd be happy to play a custom level or two. If you make any for, like, testing or anything like that. Trolls will come down to code modding, which you haven't looked into. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, man. Fair enough. Like I said, it's awesome that you're doing it at all. So, like, <laughs> any anything you can add to the game at all is still really cool. Gives me a reason to somewhat look forward to the game, too. Eggman detected. Approaching this direction. Shadow Wait, is this like an actual Why boss you battle? Traitors? You two are going to stop me? Move aside! Doctor... Please, I need to know. Those androids, the ones that look like me, am I? Yes. What? You and Omega are my creations. But you betray me as you stand here before me. So now, I will destroy you both, turning you into scrap metal. Dead man, I will defeat you once and for all. This is what you get for turning against young master. Egg breaker? I mean, how long to beat has the game listed as being four and a half hours long? This one. So it's not actually all that long. Now, granted, that's just for, like, the basic winning. The basic beating. Right? The side... Like, it goes up to, like, 30-something. I already tabbed out of the 
the web page, so I'm not sure, but... Oh, that's this. I feel like we need... How do we kill you? Probably need a gun, huh? And then... Do I have any way of actually, like, shooting it up at you, though? Ow. Oh! Okay. I see. Ow. Uh, run. Run, run, run. I need... <laughs> oh, God. I need coins, please. Any coins would be wonderful. I saw coins. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Thank you. He's, like, so close to dead. Can I just... Tracking's movements is mandatory? I mean, I don't know. We seem to be doing fine so far. Can we... I don't think we can homing attack you. I don't think that works. Kill this dude, though, so we can get the rocket. Wait, are we shooting through his, like, legs? Get wrecked. <laughs> the boss fight thing you mentioned does come with an asterisk. Most boss fights have their own custom code, and replicating that would require code modding. But there is one boss fight in the game that is made entirely within a particular level file. It's boss made up of modular pieces pulling geometry from the same list the game otherwise would use for moving platforms. And That's so weird. <laughs> I love all the little, like, hacks and tricks that people use to make games. Especially, like, back in the day when everything was a little more... Uh, limited you know so you had to use a lot of hacks and tricks to make things work what's that that quote something is the oh man it's like when you're limited it breeds innovation i can't remember what the quote actually is but it's very true with a lot of games limitations breed uh whatever but <laughs> but it's really cool for stuff like that like me and a, a friend were talking about different ways to do things in uh power world because that's a game we've been playing la a lot lately and I can't remember the context of it exactly. Oh, it was, uh, I was surprised that nobody uses bows in the game. Like, NPCs don't use bows in the game. And he said he thought maybe it was because of, like, the whole thing with having to pull back a certain amount and have the, uh, to get, like, a full power attack and maybe the AI just isn't smart enough to, like, do all that or whatever. And I said, one, I don't think it'd be that hard for them to make it so they do. And two, you can just cheat, man. <laughs> like, they could have an animation of them pulling back, but it doesn't mean they actually need to. Oh. Android Dr. Eggman created. So wait, we are an android? Then it's clear what needs to be done. Or do we just believe we're an android? You're going to uh. the place you created me from. Yeah, that's true too. That they managed to make their level and actresses in that dynamic. They only made one boss like that, and it's unfortunate that they only did it once. Would it be technically possible for you to like since you can edit that boss, could you insert that boss in different areas of the game and then customize it for, like, each time? Like, make a copy of that level, you know, and then repeat it but change it each time? That way you could have more, like, custom bosses throughout the game and then just, like, skip the regular ones or whatever? How do we switch rails? Left. Oh, okay, okay. We just lean and then jump. Damn it. Got it. While grinding, Is this whole level on rails? Will make me do a 180 to gain a burst of speed. I'm not mad about that. No, it's not sadly. I love how, like... I guess it's just the path we chose, right? But, like, the big bad has just been completely made out to be Eggman now. Through that. No secret doors here.
we supposed to be hitting those things up there? Uh, whatever. It's fine. Wait, why'd you open and then close? No! <laughs> okay. Lava, lava bad. I'll make you wish you'd never created me. What the shit? Did we have to start all the way over? That sucks. Lean toward other rails to jump to. Lava good, lava bad, lava hot. Wow, we lost all of our momentum quick. I'm kind of working on it, dude. I mean, assuming he's at the end of the level, that's that's where I'm trying to get to. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, game. <laughs> Potentially, but I don't think it's worth trying until you actually figure out how the game's 3D geometry works. You're in the process of figuring out the most base model now, so plan to figure out its level models afterwards. Yeah, no, that's fair, man. I was just thinking, you know, why is it not auto-locking onto the other rails all of a sudden? Anyways, I was just thinking, if you don't plan on doing any of the, the code modding stuff, maybe that's a way you could still have, like, more than one custom boss. That's all. I get it's still, like, a long time coming, though. More important things to figure out right now. What are you dancing to, Noodle? Something good happened in your game? Noodle's been playing a bunch of Animal Crossing lately. Well, of course you're allowed to dance. I just didn't know if something good happened. Like, maybe you found a, a fish that you've been looking for, or a bug, or your last, um, whatchamacallit that you're looking for. Fossil. Oh, you haven't played since I went upstairs? Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> You're holding on your phone? Okay. <laughs> Why? Why is everything on ice? Blackout. We gotta start over. Oh boy. Continue. Yes. Think you're gonna get your shower? Get your shower then, love. I figured out how to mod the actors. You can technically make any actor related mod you want. The level modding feels severely incomplete without being able to mod the actual 3D geometry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean. So, like, more or less, right now, you would just be able to add in new objects around existing levels, is what it sounds like. So, what you need to figure out is how to edit the level itself, like the world, pretty much. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Oh, those are just extra coins. I've been trying to hit them all this time. I mean, extra coins certainly don't hurt, but I guess they weren't really necessary either then. I'm like taking it so slowly because I'm scared. We're gonna fall off the freaking platform again. Thank God for a checkpoint. Jump. <laughs> Jump up. <laughs> My God. Oh, lasers. The bane of my existence. What is, oh, that's probably an extra life. I'm sure it's fine. We probably don't need it. Don't destroy my marvelous robot balancing ball, Shadow. You'll take a good look below you. Do I want to go up or do I want to go down? I feel almost like I want to go up, but nah, I don't know if I can. It's fine. Oh. 
Are those just like cartons of molten hot lava? Oh, shoot. Nice, another checkpoint. Oh, hi guys. Don't mind me. Okay, we need to go slow. Not too slow though, because I imagine these are going to start retracting. Yeah. Oh god. Um, rail, please. A free life? That's not at all what I wanted to do. I'm not helping you. I'm I'm doing my own thing. I'm not helping anyone. Okay. Whole room's like a, a wind tunnel. I got so scared when we started going to the side like that. Mod in enemies technically, but at the moment you still can't mod in custom navigation meshes. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna die. The enemies move around, so you can only place enemies into the existing nav meshes. Yeah, I'm assuming everything's pre-baked. Especially on a, uh, a PS2 game. <laughs> like, I'd be very surprised if any of it updated dynamically. I mean, I'm assuming this is supposed to be a fun, like, shoot things while you're going around section, but... Do we even have enough time to murder any of them guys? I guess if we had a better gun or something, maybe. That's my chaos Don't you touch it. Mine now. Doctor, at last I'll hear the truth from you. Hero mission complete. I realized that was the hero mission. I just tried to get to the end. <laughs> I guess we didn't help Eggman. So therefore it was the hero mission. Shadow the Himbo. He's something. You know, what game was it that I was playing? And I thought for sure for a moment that the uh, voice actor was, what's his name, David Slater? I think that's his name, right? For uh, Metal Gear? For Snake? There you go. That's his name. Oh, man. But I can't even remember what game it was now. Nice to see I was you, just Shadow playing Astro. it recently, too. And you too Omega. But I looked it up. It wasn't him. It ended up being somebody completely well, different. Done quite a bit of damage down there. But did you really think that you could challenge me? Dr. Eggman, I will destroy you and reign supreme. Yes, Doctor. You will regret it. Wasn't Skyrim, was it? <laughs> like, I feel like you're that's the only game I've been playing hell. recently. Why, you little, you're nothing but pieces I don't think it was Skyrim. <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. I'm trying to remember, like, any other game I've been playing. You will feel my wrath. It's just been, like, Skyrim and Power World. That's pretty much been it. And Power World has no voice acting that I can think of, so it's definitely not that. Commencing combat. Scooby Doo? <laughs> no. <laughs> you were here for at least a bit of Scooby Doo, so. Shadow's made of metal? He believes he's a. Uh, he's an android. At least at the moment, he believes he's an android, so. Okay. Yeah, so we can hit the buttons on the sides of the slot wheels. I get that. Okay, it worked that time. 
The mech's automatic system is set to whoever locks the third Death slot to as the designated attacker. In other words, by stopping the third wheel yourself, oh. you can deal an attack against Eggman. Will this deal damage to him? Not nearly as much as I had hoped. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. So we can use the slots, but what's his name just said we could use weapons too? But can we just shoot him? I mean, if it wants to give me extra coins, I won't be upset no, about that. My beautiful ring. Ow. Are they all just in the center platform? A lot of rings, though. Oh, God. Why is it so quick? Oh, God. It's like instant death if we fall in the middle. That's why I'm like... <laughs> what does that do? Oh, okay. That hurt me. That's what that did. By stopping the third slot? That gives us like super ability, right? Yeah. Death to all who oppose me. Chaos bless. Wait, do we even hit him or did he like run away quick enough? Chaos. I don't think we're gonna hit him this time either. He's way too far away. game if you would lock on to the third slot there no, is it gonna be in the middle range. again though i don't know if it's actually worth going over there to collect them that just feels like death oh that like shoots himself that's cool okay i thought he was gonna shoot me that's why i was so trying to like hit him so quick so I could get the hell out of there but he's about halfway there we could really use a couple more uh rings Stop that. <laughs> Not here. why why do you do this to me game I guess now is a good time to black out, though, because it's not like we really have anything to restart here. Unless... Oh, no, this might actually count as part of the same level as the one we were just on. Which, in that case, I guess it would be pretty bad, because... We'd have to redo the last level. Kind of wish that, like, paused time... I mean, I guess it pauses him for a brief moment while the animation part of it plays out. The mech's automatic system is set to whoever locks the third slot as the designated attacker. In other words, by stopping the third wheel yourself, you can deal an attack against Eggman. But he's gonna blow himself up, right? We just gotta stay back? Yeah, okay. I mean, rings or whatever. Bro, why will you not lock on to it? Or we could just keep hitting him the way we've been doing.
Why is Eggman obsessed with rings? Why are rings like a source of power, I guess? I don't really even know. I don't understand the ring thing. <laughs> Is the game lag because of those rings? I mean, maybe. The game definitely has some, some frame rate issues. I don't know if it's specifically the rings. Maybe they're very high try rings. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God, I don't know what this is that he's about to do. Oh, just nothing. Okay. Oh, here we go. Come on, get the last one. Please get the last one. Okay. It's actually super well optimized Treasure Planet on PS2. That's good to hear. I guess it makes it that much more worth, like, modding it, right? If it actually runs well, that's always a big bonus. <laughs> Let's Sorry, go. Doctor, but this is the end for you. Rank A, bro. That's <laughs> we only got rank A because we died and restarted the level so many times. That was not actually a good showing at all. Very true. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Four, five, six. Oh shit! We actually got all of them. Finally, I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. I made you, and this is how you repay me. I am Shadow Android, the ultimate battle life form created by Eggman. You may have created me, Doctor, but I will now lead this empire, and androids will rule. This is who <laughs> I am. <laughs> What? Goodbye, Doctor. Oh. Goodbye. Credits! We beat the game. <laughs> I'm marking it as beat. I don't even care. <laughs> That's the game. We did it. <laughs> That's another one down, dudes. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Oh, that's all I need to see was the end credits. That's sick. I love it. Accidentally beating a game. The game has an instancing system for its level meshes with a potentially visible set occlusion system that's optimized with a node tree. Very fancy. I feel like that's pretty good for a PS2 game. Occlusion calling. I don't know how common that was back in the day, but it feels like a more uh, modern system, at least. Does the caching work well? Like, I don't know how big the levels are or anything like that, but does it have a bunch of loading screens or is it able to properly cache the next area before you get to it? Or is it like full of small levels and it just loads in between levels or something like that? You know? I'm thinking like, is it Grand Theft Auto or is it Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> you know, that's kind of what I'm, I'm wondering here, I guess. Small areas with loading screens, big open-ish world with each level is its own thing with the loading screen. Okay. I mean, that was a lot more common, especially back then. But depending on the size of the level, it still could very well need to cache. Because the PS2 had what? Like, was it 8 megabytes of RAM that the PS2 had? It wasn't a ton. I know that much. I can't remember off the top of my head, but PS2 RAM. Oh, okay. I had 32 megabytes. Wow. More than I thought. <laughs> Maybe, was it the PS1 that had, yeah, two megabytes? Okay. No, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what I was thinking then, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know where I got eight megabytes from. I just pulled that number out of my ass. 
I do remember that, like, for the PS1, I forget which game it was. I think it was uh, Crash Bandicoot. The devs thought there was going to be, like, a lot more RAM than what there ended up being for the game. Um, but then once the final specs finally came out, they realized that, no, <laughs> not at all. So maybe that's where I was getting it from. Maybe the dev kit had eight megabytes or something that they were working with. And that's what they thought they were going to get. But then, no. But I could be very well wrong about that. Regardless, 32 megabytes still isn't a ton. So, especially whenever you consider, you know, all of the level geometry, the nav mesh, all of the enemies. Then, of course, you have to have all your objectives and everything in RAM. Like... You probably also want to have cached what, assuming that you can like go back to levels, what the player has and hasn't collected, all needs to be loaded in there somewhere so that you're not respawning things that the player already has. Can't believe we beat the game. There's like, <laughs> oh yeah, collision meshes, of course, of course. The game wouldn't do too well without collision. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe we beat it. That's that's insane. We beat it in like the most boring way possible, probably. Because we just went straight down the middle path, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we did do hero mode at the end. I don't know what the normal path for that one would have been. It's interesting, though, that it didn't, like, doing hero mode still took us straight forward. I would have thought that would have taken us, like, up or down or something like that, but interesting. Well, shit, dude. We're a couple minutes early. Normally, I go until about 3 o'clock in the morning, but uh, since the game's done, I think we're going to call it there for tonight, guys. I'll be back uh, tomorrow to play some Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, I think is the one we're playing, right? Hey, thank you for the follow, Cold Zero. I appreciate that, my guy. Yeah, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, if the camera wants to pick that up. That's the game we're actually working on beating right now. So, I'll be back tomorrow for that around 5.30 Eastern time, my time. Thank you, Cold really underscore Zero, for following. Uh. Um... Yeah, anyways, gonna work towards beating that again. I'm hoping to finish the game up tomorrow. Not positive if I will or not. There's roughly four hours left in the game, just going off of a how late, how, how late to beat, how long to beat time. Um, but of course, my first time playing the game, I have no idea what I'm doing. I did see one small spoiler um, that kind of guides me in the right direction to go next. Uh, which I'm actually kind of happy about because otherwise I would have been completely lost. I'm heading completely wrong direction. So that's good. Glad to see that. Uh, but yeah. Instinct allows for the rendered and collision meshes to be cloned to different locations for optimization. For rendered meshes, they store vertex color channels that each instance can pull from. These vertex colors for baking lighting. That's smart. Honestly, like, I have no idea what the game looks like, but I, uh, messed around a little bit with making 3D models only using vertex colors. Um, and then lighting was still pixel, uh, base lighting, not vertex lighting, but honestly, I really like the, the look of it. I'm not going to lie. Just like low poly models with, uh, relatively flat shading and only vertex coloring. Um, yeah, I think you, to make a whole game, you would still need some proper texture work for, for like characters, just, uh, for instance, because of like faces and things like that. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I really like the look of it. It's something that I want to mess around with more eventually, sooner or later, but I haven't done it in a while. Been busy with different things. Um, but yeah, I just had like simple things, you know, trees, rocks, um, flowers, different things laying out a, a level. But anyways, that's, yeah. <laughs> Someday I might get around to actually doing something with it. We'll see whenever I find some time. But no, it's really cool. All of the, like I mentioned earlier, all the tricks that they use to get those old games to run the way they did is just insane to me um speaking of crash bandicoot that was one of the first games if not the first game to actually use like streaming data to make the levels work so you didn't have loading screens in between the levels or not in between the levels obviously there's still loading screens in between the levels but loading screens to make the long length the the, the size of the levels work even though the 
PS1 had so little RAM. <laughs> like, really cool. There's textures as well. You haven't done a deep dive into the rendering code, though. Currently looking at some of it to try and figure out the 3D model materials. Videos are proven to be a pain to figure out. <laughs> I can imagine. I've never actually reverse engineered anything in any way. I've watched some small videos on it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine it would be a pain. And that's, like, the ones I've watched have mostly been for, like, PC-based stuff. Where you have decent decompilation tools already that you can use to, to go in and find some function names, variable names, and at least get it a little bit readable. So I can only imagine how much more difficult it would be for a PS2 game or any any older console game. Hopefully there's pretty decent tools already out there to whether it's decomp or debug or whatever the case may be to get in and try to make some sense of it all because yeah. I mean, even whenever a large uh, code base is perfectly readable, you know, like you're actually looking at the, the the original code as written, just wrapping your head around everything then can be a pain of the ass, you know, whenever you're looking at tens or hundreds of thousands of line of code, but then make it all random gibberish for the function names and variables and everything and like yeah <laughs> so <laughs> i can only imagine how bad it would be for yeah for you there with the decompiled code it's like so multifaceted and what they do it's hard to tell exactly what it means <laughs> think of how nice it'll be once you figure it out though man the reward at the end of the tunnel you know that's that's where it's at <laughs> anyways now i really am going to hop off guys thank you again though i do appreciate it uh, those of you who aren't doing anything tomorrow afternoon, I hope to see you. And, uh, yeah, otherwise I'll be back Thursday night for some Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragon Spear with my brother. See you guys then. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. So close now. So close. You're almost there. Like I said, whenever you do get it done, I know I already said goodbye. I am actually leaving. But whenever you do get it done, let me know if you make, like, a couple of levels or anything like that to test it out. I would love to give them a try whenever I uh, end up picking up that game. So, anyways. <laughs> Bye! When I finally get around to doing speed runs, we can use Gobo as a master. I will keep that in mind. <laughs> How do we get up? Triangle? Circle. Triangle or circle. Go. And how do we dodge roll? Is it square? No.